Pull up in that 04 pedal to the metal says she want to hit the flow more. I, I, I am not going to bury the lead. The Los Angeles Dodgers, they're going to win the world championship for the second straight year. They're, they just got too much stuff. I mean, Mookie Betts they've got. They, they've got all that starting pitching. And now they even have Tommy Lasorda up there with the big Dodger in the sky. I mean, so he's going to be looking down here, helping the Dodgers, inspiring them to do great things. But you know what? I am going to tell you how the Atlanta Braves can make the cow jump over the moon by winning their first world championship since 1995. But before I do that, before I do that, this video is sponsored by this book, Will It Be Back? The Rise and Fall of Terminator by our own Dave Hokum. Right here, check it out. Check it out right there, all right? Great stuff. Just like the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, just, just this week, ESPN did its annual Top 100 Players in Major League Baseball, and two Atlanta Braves were in the top 10, Ronald Acuna and Freddie Freeman. And the Braves had six other players in the Top 100, which is all great except for one thing. The Dodgers had like five or six in the top 25. Hmm. All right. But let's go to pitching. Last year, no team uh, used more pitchers uh, than, than the Atlanta Braves, more starting pitchers, except for the Boston Red Sox. Defections, injuries, okay? Yet, despite all that, the Braves still took the Dodgers to Game 7 of the National League Championship Series last year and came this close, the Braves, to making it to the World Series with that patched-up pitching staff. And now, and this year, Mike Soroka, he missed most of last year, but it looks like he's going to be coming back from that Achilles tendon problem. Max Fried, one of the best left-handers in baseball in that starting rotation. Ian Anderson had that, that great uh, rookie year last year. He's back. Then, this is what I really like, They've got these two veterans now. They picked up during the offseason, Drew Smiley and Charlie Morton, who are excellent postseason pitchers, exactly what they need, except the Dodgers pitching is better than it was last year, which is hard to believe. They got Trevor Bauer, for instance. Trevor Bauer won the National League Cy Young Award last year. So that means that the Dodgers have not won, not two, but three Cy Young Award winners. That's a lot. But the Braves have a tremendous manager, Brian Snitker. Yeah, Brian's in his fifth year. Right? Matter of fact, Brian Snitker is the last guy that was hired by Hank Aaron, that great Hank Aaron, when Hank Aaron was in charge of the Braves farm system. People forget about that. Brian Snitker, five years with the, the Atlanta Braves. He has won the Sporting News National League Player of the Year Award twice, should have won it again last year because of that jacked up pitching, and they still almost got to the World Series. But here's the thing. The, the counter to that, you got Dave Roberts, and I got to give Dave Roberts credit because it's hard to win with a lot of talent, but he did it. That's a wash between Dave Roberts and Brian Snitker. But this is not a watch. wash. You've got to give the Braves the edge when it comes to management is concerned. Dodgers, according to Forbes, I, I know somebody who writes for Forbes, uh, me. Forbes has the Dodgers ranked as the second most viable franchise in Major League Baseball. All right? They got a lot of money. So it's easy to spend somebody else's money. All right? Whereas the Braves, yeah, they got money. Liberty Media, though, they operate more as sort of like a mid-level team, a high mid-level team. But what they do have to help them out is Terry McGurk, the hidden success behind this Braves franchise for decades. He was hired by Ted Turner back in the 1970s. Terry McGurk was the primary reason that nobody saw that the Braves were able to win 14 consecutive division titles at Major League Record. He's still there. So if the Braves need something down the stretch, Terry McGurk can get it for them. They got, they got an edge there. But you know what? Here's the other thing I want to tell you about. Yeah, the Dodgers have that big Dodger in the sky. They got Tommy Lasorda up there. But the Braves also have the big Brave in the sky. And they got Hank Aaron up there. Hank Aaron's going to be up there inspiring the Braves to do great things this season. All right? So because of all that, I'm going to, I'm going to pick, the, still pick the Dodgers. I mean, I just have to because... 
This is my falsetto wicked potion with the slow pour. This is my addiction, make me want to go for more. Hell,